Ralph Waldo Emerson famously said, money often costs too much. Today, in most societies, the pursuit of wealth has become inevitable, almost as if the desire to be rich is already a foregone conclusion in our lives. The prevailing view is that wealth is good, that it should be pursued, that material possessions and riches enhance our enjoyment in life, and that wealth provides opportunity to find greater fulfillment in life. But recently, I've come to realize the pursuit of riches is based on a faulty premise. It is based on the incorrect rationale that the presence of money is always good, that it always brings benefit into our lives. And this is not always the case. Once our basic needs have been met, money contributes very little to our overall happiness and well-being. But more than that, there are actually a number of inherent dangers in possessing riches. Or maybe I'll say today, there are at the very least better things to be than rich. And we live more fulfilled lives if we began chasing after them with as much intensity as we sought money. Consider just this short list of things better to be than rich. It's better to be content. Contentment is far more valuable than riches because whoever finds contentment is always satisfied. Money comes and money goes, sometimes rather quickly. But contentment rises above our circumstances and offers happiness regardless of our financial state. It's better to be generous. Jeff Schinnebarger says it this way, anything we find that is more than enough creates an immediate opportunity to make others' lives better. Our resources can accomplish great things in the world, but not if we keep them to ourselves. It's very difficult to want to be both rich and generous at the same time. One must always take precedence. Number three, it's better to be free. Often in our pursuit of wealth and bigger bank accounts, we sacrifice freedom. We think riches will provide greater freedom for our lives, but we rarely recognize how much freedom we've actually sacrificed in our attempt to simply acquire more of it. It's better to be selfless. Choosing to live selfless lives that seek the benefit of others brings meaning, purpose, and lasting impact into our short lives. While living selfish, self-centered lives is neither attractive or fulfilling. It's better to be honest. No compromises, no regrets. Those who desire to be rich fall into temptation and harmful desires. Given the choice, we should choose honesty, integrity, and character any day. That makes lying your head on the pillow much easier and much sweeter. It's better to be passionate. It's far greater to have a career in life we love waking up to in the morning than a high paying job that brings no satisfaction, provides no positive contribution, and provokes no passion in our day. It's better to be dependent. There's greater security to be found in lasting, trusting relationships than financial wealth. Dependence on others teaches us this truth. But even more importantly, it also allows us to experience the goodness of other people. It's better to be a compassionate person. Studies show that the more wealth we obtain, the less compassion and empathy we feel towards those without. And as a result, the less we contribute. It's better to be humble. Wealth often brings with it a certain level of pride, or at least a more necessary intentionality to remove prideful tendencies. Sometimes this pride comes from within and sometimes it's encouraged by others. But meanwhile, humility calls us to quietly embrace its hidden power and freedom and it would be a shame to miss it at the expense of riches. It's better to be resourceful. Learning how to live with less is an important pursuit. It teaches us the value of the things right in front of us and forces us to appreciate them even more. It's also better to be connected. 
Riches do not result in deeper relationships. In fact, oftentimes, they have the opposite effect. But intimate, connected relationships continue to provide the joy in our lives that money can never produce. It's better to be perseverant. Perseverance is a powerful characteristic that can only be discovered through trial. And while riches cannot remove every trial in life, they can often remove just enough to keep perseverance from ever taking root in our heart. And it's better to be happy. As I mentioned, once our basic needs have been met, money contributes very little to our overall happiness and well-being. Gratitude, generosity, and contribution produce far more. And isn't that the real goal? To live lives of joy and fulfillment and help others do the same? Now, please don't mishear me. I'm not contending that those with riches cannot also be content, generous, humble, or connected. I know many incredibly generous people who could also be described as wealthy. And I would never contend that those without wealth are better simply by the nature of that qualification. Lastly, I would never confess to have fully arrived in any of these categories that I just mentioned. But I do believe with all my heart that the pursuit of riches can lead to great danger. It's not a pursuit to be automatically accepted as the wisest course of action for our lives. We would be wise to challenge the modern assumption that being rich is always better. In fact, as soon as the desire for it is removed, we provide greater opportunity for those better things to be true in our lives. And there are indeed absolutely far better things to be than rich.